Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook, uh, Prince Miller Entertainment, our uh, Facebook group is a uh, Prince Miller Entertainment Team, and also on our Twitter handle, it's a P Miller ENT. Welcome to another edition of our daily news on breaking news. Today is the 29th of May, uh, 2021, and so, uh, latest now, this is good news. Uh, for the diasporans. So, uh, a private company has been engaged by government for the creation of a national biometric uh, database for citizens and production of e-passports, which will enable uh, citizens in the diaspora to access travel documents from the Zimbabwean embassies where they live. This is part of the Home Affairs and Heritage Ministry's move to e-governance structure, where the Registrar General's Office would create an electronic database for citizens' identity cards. The country is battling to clear a passport backlog of 225,747, with some passports applied for as long ago as March 2019. This has seen the Ministry of Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage introducing double shifts that will work five days a week to clear the backlog. The registry is also facing challenges in production of plastic national identity cards due to a shortage of consumables. This has since government giving priority to high school pupils who need the IDs to sit for public examinations and people with selected emergencies while the rest of the applicants are getting green copy waiting passes. Information and Publicity and Broadcasting Service Minister Monica Mtrangwa said on Wednesday after the weekly cabinet meeting that government was addressing access to documentation challenges through partnership with the private sector the country would be able to produce 4 million passports units a year cabinet considered and approved the processed engagement of a private partner in the implementation of a national biometric database for the production of e-passports national identity cards and birth certificates she said the partnership will increase the passport production capacity to 4 million units per year resulting not only in the clearance of the backlog but also meaning the daily demand and enabling the country's embassy to issue passports to Zimbabwean citizens abroad. The Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage has in the past reiterated that it would soon employ information communication technologies to improve services and reduce human interaction. Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage Minister Kazembe Kazembe said employing technology will reduce corruption and human error in delivery of services so this uh seems like good news and uh, good news that is right because there are so many people out there who are looking for passports who are in the foreign lands you know uh, especially in south africa where there's a large number of uh, zimbabweans who uh, live and work here most of the guys who are here they don't have my passports some are going to cross up passport some of my passports are expire and with the works i showed you you cannot go back to zimbabwe and apply you know you need to go to the embassy and again the embassy is actually taking a, a few number of people each and every day so it's one of those things that uh, you know it really needs a emergency attention you know so i hope Kuti, this will help this will actually help you know a good cultural passport should not be something that you know you take two months, three months just to, to apply for a passport only. Maybe whatsoever. And again, there are so many people who are trying to access the, the embassies, like here in SA, whereby um, my dates are going to book up because the process is actually very slow. So let's hope this will actually reduce uh, congestion when it comes to your passport and your IDs and birth uh, certificates. So let's hope that they will also allow us to vote come 2023 it's one of those issues that again the government needs to look on because we are contributing a lot in terms of Zimbabwean economy I mean uh, last year only we actually said at least 1 billion US dollar just imagine what the personal marriage of the foreign lands that is Zimbabwe at the moment so we are really contribute comes to our economy and the government needs to give us a right to vote and uh, for any political party that we want so guys, particularly in the comment section, this seems like a good development uh, which is coming from the government and uh, let's hope we implement it as soon as possible so that when we can talk about it, we will have my passports, when my passports can expire, when my IDs are going to be when my personal birth certificates are going to be able to get it, and we can talk about it, we can talk about it, and we can talk about it, because you know, if you are in a foreign land, you really need those things. 
Alain Gato Ma One Chacha. Guys, this is a daily news on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Let's talk in the comment section and follow us on all our social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, and also our Facebook group, which is a Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Daily news on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Bless her.